that he be not idle. This is talking about the sun. Mm -hmm. For idleness teaches much evil. Idleness teaches much evil. That's the saying in the world. They say uh, the devil's mind or idle mind is the devil's playground. You know? and, it, and it was funny. Uh, I think in Proverbs 31 it said, uh, her hands, uh, and it say, so it's something about, about the uh, Proverbs 31. She does give herself not only to idleness, for idleness suffering something to that effect. But basically being idle shows you that you got you just gonna become a busybody and it's the shit that you wasting your time with. You see it? It's like you the end of the chapter, last verses. Proverbs 30, 31 and 27. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And this is uh Proverbs 31 and 27. She looketh well to the ways of her household mm -hmm. and eateth not the bread of idleness. Yeah, and eateth not the bread of idleness. She ain't got time to sit back. She's always at least thinking forward about what to do for the house. You know? No different than us. We're always thinking, okay, what's next? What do I have to do next? You know, whether it's, okay, get ready for work, boom, boom, okay, let me think about this lesson, okay, let me think about this, this, and that. These things come to you, and you really don't have time to just chill like that. You get your moments, throw the fight on, throw the game on, or whatever, you know? You get your moments. But most times, brothers' minds don't really turn off. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, even in watching things of entertainment, the scriptures are still playing out in your mind. I have something real quick. Um, Proverbs 19 and uh, 15: Slothfulness casteth into a deep sleep, and an idle soul shall suffer hunger. Yep, and an idle soul shall suffer hunger, and you're gonna be in need of uh, nourishment. I, and I work it that way on purpose, so the nourishment is not only this wisdom and understanding, but literal as well, literal food, you know, if you don't put your hands to labor. Yeah, because the, the, the famine of the word is coming, man. You know? Like, you don't have all day, every day to uh, choose, oh yeah, okay, today I'm going to go, all right? No. Oh, next week, uh, I'll take next week off. No. <laughs> you can't, you can't, you don't have the luxury to do that, man. You know? You, you have to be consistent. Hey, when they, when, uh, I don't know if y'all seen the, the game show, I don't know the name of the game show, but there's a clock, and it, or remember when we was kids, some of us, all this shit, but anyway, it'd be like, Toilet Russ is sponsoring kid to go in there for five minutes and anything you can grab or throw in a basket you can keep. You're talking about super supermarket sweet? In supermarket sweet type thing, yeah. right? Who's going, who, you know, you're going to be up there like, okay, I got to get meat. Gotta, you're going to be thinking about what you're going to do to get it and you're going to be like, let me stop. In the middle of the time, you're going to slow down and be like, uh, you're going to take a minute out to think about it or to rest. No. To chill a minute. No, you're going to go and you have everything it possible. Well, this is like that. You know that there's a clock that's going to run out. You got to take that time uh, as serious as possible. You got to use every minute wisely. You know, you you might have to strategize your time. And you, and, and you know, uh, how I'm using it. Okay, when I go on this side, I need to grab these things. When I hit this, don't forget to grab that. When I'm over there, I might as well just run off and grab this or, or learn that, you know. And all these things will be will be necessary for you because you know that we we know Jake don't know we know that there's a there's a time and expect it into this I can like use that if we know that there's a time that all this is going to get cut off because that family of the word is coming okay we know everything that we gather is going to be necessary that you can always use I would say this too another another reason to be critical of you know being uh, not being idle. Well, the, the Lord ultimately said what? You know not what hour he coming. Yeah. Blessed is the servant that when he shall come, shall find oh, so, so doing, find so working. Mm -hmm. He said to what? Occupy till I come. Which when you look up the word occupy, it means to, to be busy with, carry on a, a business. You know, you want to be have a successful business, but well, you got to, keep the business going. You gotta maintain that business. Yeah. You gotta stay operating.
you know. If, they, if all the laborers are, are idle, the business can't continue to run. Yeah. So that's why, you know, the apostles always stress, you know, diligence and, you know, make sure you're doing your lessons and your shows because that's, you, you, you're, you're, you're helping to keep the business be generated. Yeah. You're constantly working or service them, you know. Yeah. You go to a, a, a restaurant, as long as there's always service, there's always people there willing to work, the restaurant's gonna stay open and make money. Yeah, right. To give it to another point, we're building. So you say we gave the analogy of work, we're building that third temple. So if we, some of us start building and some of us don't build over here, it's, it's not gonna work. What if us all start building? It's, it's called the building's gonna, the temple's gonna rot. And, and you know, so we have to constantly build you know, get the same analogy, you know, yeah. that the brother was using, because, you know, what if, you know, these, what if the brothers in this camp just, this is the only ones building, where everyone else is, it ain't going to work like that. It's, the, the, it's your, your structure's going to, not going to, um, it's, you know. I just saw, uh, I just saw, uh, I don't know if you know the video, uh, in Florida, uh, all the, 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 the laborers, the, the Hispanic laborers, are, are not in Florida. They, they abandoned Florida. So there's houses wide open that are half built. There's farms that there were once hundreds of workers on. Hundred workers on one particular farm, and now there's nine. <laughs> yeah. What's gonna happen? They 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 were supplying the, all the produce for the whole East Coast, pretty much. Yeah. The majority of the East Coast. So what's gonna happen to those those workers? Uh, we don't have a labor because those few farms that all those ladies were working at. No workers. So the same thing is, so what's going to happen to that business? It's going to crumble. Yeah. Say it's no different than this. So there's always have to be everybody uh, uh, oh, in their park, whatever that is. All hands on deck. If, 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 say if only the apostles were working, they, they got to take a break. And sometimes when they take a break, somebody should already be working. And when they take a break, the next person should already be in there to where things overlap. Other other Satanists, you know, to put in uh, work. He's always working, and you know, got people working. He's always keeping his business flowing. And, he, and he's sick. He's sick. Oh man. You know? Sick. I got I got work. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 10 and 18. It says, "By much slothfulness, the building decayeth." Mm -hmm. And through idleness of the hands that helps drop it through. Who is that again? Ecclesiastes 10 and 18. Yeah. I'll read it in the NLT. It says, Laziness leads to a sagging roof, mm -hmm. idleness leads to a leaky house. Yeah. So, hey, if you ain't keeping up with the proper maintenance of a home, you watch that shit <laughs> fall yeah. apart. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. but from the, uh, the plumbing system. Yeah. To, to the roof and the, 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 the ventilation system, all that. You gotta maintain it all. You gotta, you know, keep replacing certain things, which takes labor. Yep. You can't be lazy. Which uh, we know that the tabernacle of David, you know, it's, uh, that's what's being restored, right? The house of David. The house of David is gonna be built, regardless. But it's, uh, this is like, this is the wisdom that we need to take, uh, that, that we need to intake to keep us motivated, you know, to keep us uh, pushing forward, you know. Uh, Ecclesiastes 39, bring it down, verse 1. Ecclesiastes 39 and 1. But he that giveth his mind 
to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof, will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies. He will keep the sayings of the renowned men and where sub subs of parables are, he will be there also. He will seek out the secrets of the grave sentences and be conversant in dark parables. He shall serve among great men and appear before princes. He will travel through strange countries where he hath tried to give, uh, tried to good and evil among men. Yes, that's right there. Yeah. I just want to make a quick point about that. He also had in practice the wisdom that he gave. So even even though he, he wasn't directly reading, he was applying what he was reading. Yeah. It's right there, yeah, 24 down. It says, uh, the wisdom of a learned man cometh by opportunity of leisure. And he that oh, yeah. has a little business shall become wise. Mm -hmm. How can he get wisdom that holdeth the plow, and that glorieth in the gold, uh, that driveth oxen and is occupied in their labors, and whose talk is of bullocks? He giveth his mind to make furrows, and his diligence to give the kind father. Yeah, when you look up father, Somebody get John 9 real quick. Get John 9 and uh, what was it, verse uh, I think 4. Somebody get that real quick. John chapter 9 and verse 4. This, and this is Yahushai speaking, right? Oh, Red letter? Yeah, guys. That's Yahushai, go ahead. Yeah, this is uh, John 9 and verse 4. It says, uh, I must work the works of him that has sent me while it is the while it is day. Mm -hmm. While it is day. <laughs> right? We're still the day. It's still the day. Remember that one Jake tried to bring that up? Uh, yeah, uh, okay. uh, 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 that's we're we're not we're, we're still in the day. The Lord ain't came yet. Take the trouble. What did the Lord tell us? The occupier. Right. The famine of the word haven't started yet. So why why how, how all of a sudden you're excused? This is this is something that you don't retire from. Like, you know how, you know how we always say, like, man, I can't wait till shit pop off so that we can, like, we ain't got to go back to our jobs. Yeah. That's pretty much how we're going to be free from this truth. The Lord's going to bring all our hell in, in, in total chaos. And we're in the thick of Jacob's trouble to where we ain't going to have to be. We, we, why would we be out here? No, why is he out here? When, hey, when, when, uh. When, when, when Nebuchadnezzar finally came down with his with his uh, armies to, to to capture Jerusalem, you think Jeremiah was still out there? Right. He already spoke what was going to happen, so his job was already done. You know, when the persecution, when all that, when everything started happening, you think we're going to still be doing what we're doing? No, that's going to be it. 
Esau gonna outlaw. You can't speak.